Hello out there in YouTube land. Uh, sorry I did not get a vlog up this week. I've got several in the queue but needed to get some editing done in between a bunch of things going on uh, in my personal life and in my professional life. Just didn't get to it. So I thought I'd throw up a quick little review of Batman v Superman just as a bonus. Okay so I just finished my viewing, first of I'm sure many, of Batman v Superman. In fact I'm still in the parking lot at my local theater as you can see here. And I wanted to do a quick little spoiler free review for you. I have seen the ultra positive reviews. I have seen the what 37% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes reviews which I don't know that I trust Rotten Tomatoes rankings and ratings anyway. But for myself, as a huge Batman fan, huge Superman fan, I have been collecting comics since the 90s, uh, when I was a teenager. <laughs> and I've got a great love for both of these characters. I was a huge fan of Man of Steel. Yes, it's not a perfect movie, but Snyder did stay true to a lot of what Superman's core is. And you got to set up a lot, a solid foundation to build on to make the Superman that you need Superman to be. There's got to be some growing pains. So going into this film, I tried to keep as many spoilers out of my view as I could, and I, I was pretty successful. Uh, I knew of a couple things going in specifically relating to Batman's character that worried me, but I, I come out not worried anymore. Um, I'm, I'm quite content with how they handle the characters. Uh, Snyder really took the ball and ran with it with his influence from The Dark Knight Returns. I was sitting in the theater just seeing, this is it, this is, oh yeah, this is nice on screen. I'm not worried about Batfleck at all. Uh, he pulls off a fantastic Bruce Wayne that's a little older, a little more grizzled, been doing the Batman thing for 20 years. I, I'm I'm happy. I would love to see more movies with him front and center going forward. Henry Cavill continues to... Did I pronounce that right? Cavill? Hit it? Yet another Brit who's playing an American hero. Henry does a fantastic job as Superman continue to build on what he had. Amy Adams has some great chemistry with him. I was a little worried about our new Lex Luthor, but Jesse managed to pull it off. I mean, he's not perfect. It's kind of casting a new Luther for a new world. I was I was really happy with Kevin Spacey and Superman Returns. I love Michael Rosenbaum and Smallville, but uh, this this new take on Luther a little bit crazy. Uh, it works for me. It really does. He's not going to be my favorite, I'm sure, but it works. It works within the world of the DC extended universe. The little behind the scenes quick cameo peeks of some of the other heroes that are going to show up in Justice League. Very, very well placed. And what can I say? Diana Prince, Wonder Woman. Uh, I was worried when they casted her originally. She didn't look like she was going to be imposing. Didn't necessarily look like she could carry the role. But I've, I've heard her describe she steals the show and she does. And she does a really, a really solid job. Not over the top. Uh, just really well done. And even Perry White, just a little bit here and there where he gets not a lot of dialogue, but uh, Lawrence Fishburne owns a role. I know that was a big concern initially. Oh no, black Perry White. But I like Lawrence. I gave him a shot in this deal. I was okay. And I, I like what he's done with the little amount of material he's been given. Alfred, uh, I don't know if you can top Michael Caine or Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. from the animated series, but Jeremy Irons did his best, and you know what? He owns the role within this universe. He's Alfred. Uh, it's a lot to take in. I mean, it's two hours and 40 minutes of film, and I, I gotta say, when the home video comes out, it's gonna be even longer, but I will sit through every minute of it again and again and again. Themes of identity and your place in this world, and power and does it corrupt and who do we answer to all kinds of fantastic themes that flow through this movie that you could cherry pick all, all tons of little things here you'll probably see some show up here on this channel down the road so that's my quick summary batman v superman might not be a perfect film but it is a fantastic ride and I do have confidence with DC moving forward in their cinematic universe. I think they're gonna do just right. So you keep watching and I'm gonna keep sharing stories from all over the place.